major hurricane about 200 miles off our shoreline and we're not worried about it here in the coastal bend. The forecast confidence very high on this storm. It is moving north. It's got 120 mile per hour winds gusting to 150. Again, the eye is about 200 miles away from the coastal bend. That is the eye and this is going to work toward western Louisiana later on today, making a landfall there uh, with a little bit of weakening expected. It's moving north at 12 miles per hour. It's about 200 miles away from the landfall location as well. The waves with this are very high near the center of it. These this white shade represents over 20 feet of wave height. As you get closer to the coast, the waves are about seven to eight feet right now, and they could get as high as 12 feet, uh, but those waves are going to lead to some coastal flooding concerns on area beaches. The forecast cone on this does bring it into western Louisiana as a weakening category two hurricane. Uh, later on today, this will likely be late afternoon, early evening, very close to where Laura hit in late August, maybe a little bit to the east of that, but very close uh, to that landfall. So this storm then weakens to a tropical storm overnight and continues up to the north and east into Tennessee, falling apart as a remnant low on Sunday. Uh, this storm is not a direct threat here. This is going to move through Louisiana today and tomorrow, and then uh, as it does get farther to the north, it's going to draw in southerly winds putting us in the mid 90s with a lot of humidity, especially here on Sunday. The humidity levels are going to be very much like summer as we head into uh, the weekend here. It's going to feel more like August than October. The waves today, 6 to 12 feet. Tide's going to be about 2 to 3 feet above normal. Today, though, we're only going to observe a low tide early this afternoon. Then the high tide comes in after midnight, so that should mitigate at least some of the beach inundation, but the beach is going to get flooded today. Rip current risk will be very high and improvements come in over the weekend as that storm moves farther inland on the tropical satellite here. There's another tropical wave, just a one in five chance to develop, though, as it approaches the Caribbean Sea. Not really concerned about that feature, something to watch and not worry about at this point. Right now it's 74, a northwest wind at 12 miles per hour. The dew point is in the low 70s, so it is sticky outside. Uh, you see the cloud coverage and even some offshore showers. Some of this We'll try to get in here today. It'll just be stray activity, kind of similar to what we had yesterday, and most of the rain chances will be only in coastal counties. Today in the morning, mid 70s will top out near 90 this afternoon. There are those stray showers that will be possible. Football games will be quiet tonight. Overnight lows in the low 70s, upper 60s tomorrow morning, and then highs in the mid 90s with sunshine here tomorrow afternoon. We are going to see a little dip in the humidity into Saturday. It's still going to be, though, uh, more humid than it was at the beginning of the week and last week after that front. And then the humidity levels really ramp up here on Sunday. Today, a stray shower out there, but otherwise a mixture of sun and clouds, 91, and a breezy northwest wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour tonight. Low 70s, partly cloudy and a north breeze at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Saturday, Sunday going to be very hot and with that extra humidity coming in on Sunday, the heat index was just going to top out around 107 on Sunday. So it's going to feel like the middle of summer. 94 again here on Monday, then a weak cold front on Tuesday. Does take some of the edge off the heat, but still going to be above normal with highs in the upper 80s into the middle of next week. John Thomas. Alex.